Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to tie your very own do-it-at-home, do-it-yourself fishing rig. This rig works in many places. Pretty much any body of water you can use this rig and catch fish. But I'm specifically tying this one for surf fishing. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie this exact rig that we also sell on our store. It's the Hay Skipper rig right here. We actually just put some of these rigs on our store. These are hand tied, hand painted surf rigs. You see this? These are high low rigs. And it's called a high low rig because, oh my gosh. It's called a high-low rig because one hook sits high, the other hook sits low. This is where the sinker goes, down here. And this rig works so well in many different places. These floats itself are so colorful. They're meant to mimic sand fleas, their eggs, and cocina clams. So the flash of color plus the bait on the end of the hook is pretty much a guaranteed fish. If you're too lazy or you just physically cannot tie rigs yourself, this is a great option. Pick up a few of these and you're good to go fishing. I typically go through one to two rigs each rod per time I go fishing. So, and this is not because I want to, but sometimes bluefish bite me off. Sometimes it gets frayed. Um, and, and you're gonna wanna change out your rigs pretty often. These Hay Skipper fishing rigs, they work wonders. And you can pick them up in our store, hayskipperfishing.com. But I'm gonna show you how to tie it up yourself. That's what this video is about. Sustainable fishing. I love it. I love the fact that I can go and tie my own rigs, use my own bait, and catch fish for my own dinner. The whole idea of being able to catch your dinner and being able to go out and get your own dinner rather than having to buy fish from a market. Industrial commercial fishing, their nets, their drag nets, it's so horrible what they do to the oceans. I don't support that. I try not to buy any fish. I try not to buy any meat. I try to just catch my own meat. And I'm not saying if you do, you're a bad person. I'm saying, me personally, if I can help it, I'm gonna catch my own fish to eat. What you're gonna need is your own fishing line. I like to use 20 pound line. Monofilament works just fine for me. Some people like to use fluorocarbon, but I think that it's just way too expensive and I don't really think that it brings the results that people claim. I think that you can see both of them underwater the same. Fish don't care if it's monofilament or fluorocarbon. That's just my opinion again. Comment below, if you swear by fluorocarbon, let me know why. Tell me some examples as to why you like to use fluorocarbon. For me, I feel like it's just twice the price, but I don't catch twice the amount of fish, so it's not worth it to me. So, first things first, get yourself some line. We tie our, our rigs using size one or size two aught circle hooks. Circle hooks are great because circle hooks, when a fish bites it and runs with it, it'll set itself. And circle hooks are great because they're good at preventing gut hooking. Gut hooking is when a fish swallows the whole hook and you set the hook on their stomach. Just unnecessary. Using a circle hook prevents fatalities. So I like to use size one or size two aughts, and you're gonna need uh, two-way swivels, and you're gonna need a snap swivel. And a snap swivel is used for the sinker at the bottom. Finally, our specialty here is our floats. We have these hand-painted floats here that are colored to mimic what's in the ocean. Sand fleas, they have this orange color to it because of their eggs under there. Cocina clams, they have this color to them that when fish see this color, they have an instinct to attack. They have an instinct to go towards it. These floats not only provide color, but they also float your bait up. So it prevents from tangling on itself and it helps hold your bait up in the strike zone. So fish can see it better. So I've got lots of different color floats here, as you can see, um, and we're gonna just pick whatever color we're feeling will be good to mimic the area you're fishing. If I'm fishing a beach and I know there's a lot of cocina clams there, I might wanna pick some blue or pink or yellow colored ones. If I'm fishing a beach with a lot of sand fleas, I would probably go with something like orange yellow color or maybe a, a glittery white color like this right here. Say you're fishing in a place that's really murky water 
in very murky water, you want to put some bright colors on it. Maybe something like this green-yellow color right here. Um, but again, this all depends on where you're going to fish. So, pick your colors accordingly. Let's get into tying. Okay, so I'm going to be tying one to mimic sand fleas because, heck yeah, I love sand fleas. And we're going to pick a... What do you think about that? I love it. That definitely looks like the egg. Maybe I should just do two of those. Maybe I'll just do two of these. Yeah, let's do that. Now that I've picked that, we're ready to tie. And I'm gonna show you just the simple way, okay? So first off, I'm gonna tie the two-way swivel up top. Thank you. But it's pretty simple. I just tie a single overhand. Tie another single overhand. So we got the two-way swivel now. This is to prevent line twists. When your bait is underwater, it's spinning around and you don't want your line to spin around because look what happens. What happens when it spins around? It gets all tangled up like this, you see? You don't want that. This two-way swivel allows that to not happen anymore. It helps prevent that. So we're gonna put the two-way swivel and about, about 12 inches from there, we're gonna tie our first dropper loop. And depending on how much room you want on here, you're gonna make this a different length. You don't have to have it this short. You can actually make it longer than this, but I personally like it this short. It's about five inches right here. Four to five inches. I don't need too much more. Next, we're gonna put on a float. And we do this by pinching. Pushing this through. There we go. And then we're gonna take a one-out hook right here. And since I'm going for pompano, you know, you don't really need to have such a big hook. Their mouths are generally pretty small. So you don't need such a big hook. We're gonna thread it through just like this. All right? Then we're gonna put this hook through that loop and pull. There we have it. That's our first hook right there. Now, about two feet now, we're gonna tie the next one. We're going to do the same thing. And if you don't know how to do these knots, I teach you guys in so many other videos that I'm not going to teach you right now. You can look in our description and I'll show you how. Same thing. Now we're going to push this through the hook. There we go. All right, there's a second dropper loop. Now, if you're in an area where you're allowed to use three, three hooks, you can totally put another dropper loop right here too. But I typically only like to use two at a time. Now we're gonna give another foot, foot and a half, and we're gonna tie this snap swivel. So, for this knot, I just tie a single overhand, push this through, Tie another single overhand. Right, and then pull. So now this swivel clip will hold my sinker. Right, so sinker down. And these pyramid sinkers hold in the sand really well and they won't roll around too much because it has a side on it. So now the sinker's down. Here's the first float. And in the water, this will actually float up. So you'll have a floating suspending bait. And then we've got another right here. And then a two-way swivel at the top. And there you have it. A very simple, easy way to tie your own do-it-yourself do rig. So this is the most reliable fishing rig that I know of. It works everywhere I go, even if it's freshwater. Freshwater, I've caught many fish like this too. Freshwater, saltwater, jetty, pier, surf, you name it. This is a classic rig that works time and time again. 
And that's why we're so excited to be showing you guys how to tie this. We're so excited that you guys can start using these kind of floats. And we're so excited because we've got all these rigs on our website now for you to try as well. If you find this interesting and you want to try it yourself, I encourage you to tie this and tag us. Take pictures of what you do, tag us, and I want to see what you did. I want to give you a fist bump and a high five. Boom! Because this is a really great skill to have. And once you learn how to do this, I consider that you have leveled up to the next level of fisherman. Once you're able to start tying your own stuff, catching your own fish on your own gear, it's just another level of satisfaction. And I want to, I want to invite you to that club. Join our club. Here at Hey Skipper, we want to get you on fish. We want to teach you in a very simple, in a very easy way for you to learn how to catch fish, how to tie your own stuff, and how to do this all in a, in a very quick and efficient way. If you want more help, our website, HeySkipperFishing.com, is filled with more information. I've got plenty of books that I've personally written and illustrated to show you guys different rigs to use, when to use it, different baits to use, when to use it, how to fish the surf, how to fish the pier, how to fish the jetty, you name it. If you want to learn how to fish, come check out my website. I've got a lot of stuff for you to look at. Well, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week.